This is why I like to get up early in the morning. Sunday the 26th of January 2024. Welcome back my gardening friends. I've got a couple of hours today, it's quarter to eight. So let's see what we can get done in two hours. So I'm still beavering, beavering away in this corner. Uh, I need to get rid of the uh, wood and scrape up the uh, uh, holly leaves uh, so I can get my uh, wheelie bin in. So now's the tricky bit, but I'm going to be using the uh, Cool Job thorn resistant uh, gloves. The links to those are in the description below. Cool Job have been very kind in supporting my channel with gloves for myself and for my viewers in the, uh, the raffle for some drawers. You can definitely pick these up with uh, some confidence. Bit of wood chip in this, but uh, I'm not too fussed. But uh, as you can see, they soon uh, dip into you. But for gooseberries and anything else that you handle, ideal. Like I say, they've been good to me, so I'm good to them. And the gloves are uh, good quality. Well, that's better. Better to spend the time now clearing all that up. Um, I've purposely done this over a few days or weeks so that if there's any creatures there they've got time to move on just in case there's anybody living there and underneath the tank on the right all the small bricks will go under there if you've watched my hashtag starting a new allotment you'll know that we uh, we built little hybrider columns all over the place I'll add those bricks uh, in the spring not now I wouldn't like a brick dropping on my head let alone a poor creature that's uh, hibernating under there so now this will be an ideal place to put some of my junk that's got to go to the tip so I, I know exactly where it is. No doubt I'll find uh, some more as uh, we have a tidy as we go and I've sorted the frame, um, the shelving out for those mini greenhouses. Uh, I'm keeping the pile on the left and I'll put the ones on the right on the allotment scrap heap. Didn't take long to find something else. Another little job I want to do before I start using this for the siphoning uh, systems on the water barrels is to unravel it and stretch it out so all the the kinks that we've got have got time to straighten out. They haven't straightened out by me just uh, hanging it up. So I'll get that job done. So just a, a little tip, don't just grab the end and pull it all. Ideally, you need to pick it up, see how it's been rolled up in the first place, and I presume it's been rolled up in a very awkward manner. No wonder it's. Uh, but what you want to do is unroll it like that. But I've got to sort the mess out first. So hopefully now cover you in nice uh, warm water <laughs> and if you don't you'll end up with uh, with loads of kinks in it I'll cut that out so I can straighten it out straight you know it's quite a long piece actually probably nearly uh, 20 meters 30 meters so once that's been there for a couple of weeks I can 
cut it to length and then hang it like this that gives me a good idea whether the pipe will sit nicely uh, on the bottom of the barrels because what you don't want uh, is them uh, curling up too much like that one there else when you start drawing the water air gets in and it stops the uh, siphoning system I found this behind the shed with the guttering I've cut the rotten end off uh, that can go uh, with my wood pile and uh, we talk uh, well we talk loads of health and safety at work uh, when I see a rake I always think of my mother as she uh, walked up to the rake to pick it up put her foot down and smacked herself straight in the nose did we laugh of course we didn't <laughs> so be careful health and safety should be practiced on your growing spaces as well look out for those hazards do your point of work risk assessment right when one hour in it's about 8 47 was it not no eight, well it's an hour anyway so we've done quite a bit in an hour, well worth it. I'm trying to practice what I preach, honest guys. I'm trying to build the sweat up because it's quite cool again this morning. While I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, let's tidy up the uh, wildlife area under my long root structure on uh, plot three. Uh, we've just tidied the, uh, the path up into uh, the water area. Uh, Mr. Badger and Mr. Hedgehog. A little bit of wood there in the middle there, out of uh, an aquarium of some description. Robin and there, the squirrels chewing his nuts. And I've always wanted a frog in the garden. Oh dear, where's uh, where's Mr. Duck gone? That looks better. Very inviting for any creatures that want uh, to stop off for a while. I found Mr. Duck. He was swimming right at the bottom. My kale's just about had it, so uh, we'll uh, get all that pulled out and tidied up. While I've got the green bin, I can uh, get rid of any that uh, may have club root. I cheated and bought some plants. The risk of that, you bring club root into your uh, allotments. Grow from seed if you can. Well, these are looking uh, very healthy roots and as you can see all the nodules all as he uh, hits something, as you can see, the more you pick, uh, the more they grow. Happy to put those in the compost bin. If you haven't seen this before, I'll uh, put it on the uh, end screen, my raised bed seat. Just for when I get older. Instead of bending down all the while. Anyway, no time to rest. I'm just going to take all this off. This was uh, an idea from uh, Ronald Shaw. Uh, need to update it, but... Uh, I'm going to get that pulled off there. No time for any breaks. Something else to add to the tip run. That netting, I didn't explain, uh, was uh, to help stop uh, slugs crawling over it. He put his potatoes and some of his crops laid them on debris netting and found a, a massive reduction. So between us we've been trying uh, different methods to see what works. I'll leave the leaves on. 
they blow away they blow away and I've got these buckets dotted all about to put in any bits of debris and I don't want to chuck them on the floor else I'll only have to sift them out when I harvest those in four years time well I've got about half an hour left it's about quarter past nine now 20 past nine so let's see if I can transform this dig out the potatoes that are in that far end that were stored under there they might be frosted and hopefully we can get those three barrels in uh, in the next week or so to start collecting that valuable rainwater. I think the rats or mice have found my potatoes. <laughs> Little rascals. No, they didn't get them. Not all of them anyway. My mum and dad will love those. Those are condor. Well, I'm running a bit late guys. I'm not sweating because I'm working hard. It's because Mrs. K is going to look at me. I'm late. She should give me that look and say, what you been up to? excuse to tell them why I'm late I won't blame you guys well that's a good job done I brought the wheelbarrow up there then I realized I couldn't get through here and then some silly man put the tripod there but I definitely don't like throwing away or burying shall we say good quality uh, soil and this is everything we've got from where the fruit trees were and where we grew the condor and big potatoes uh, last year and then hopefully we can start creating some beds here in the shade of the uh, holly bush which is on the uh, south facing side we shall see hope i've given some of you some uh, inspiration ouch Ow. so uh, you can get a few jobs done it's certainly well worth uh, doing so we're into, let's have a look at me watch. It's just gone 10 o'clock. In actual fact, I'm not going to be too bad. But I'll get these two barrows tipped up now. And then when we get some fresh wood chips, that's ready. And then we can uh, set the three barrels there. Use the piping that we've got to join them all up. And then any water that's in that galvanized tank, I can siphon out before uh, I put some better holes in it for drainage for the plants that we're going to grow. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for my efforts today, for the interaction. And uh, why not uh, consider subscribing? A little bit of work there just to pull the old uh, ferns out. And uh, please leave me a comment. What are you, uh, what are you going to be doing? After getting some inspiration from uh, me and fellow uh, YouTubers. Yes, I'll bring everything up the allotment. <laughs> Even my balls. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. <laughs> Ta-ra for now. <laughs>